Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I'm one half of Not Your Mama's Greens. And today I have a special guest, my friend Anna Barnes, and we're in Providence, Rhode Island. So there's this place here called Plant City. What is it? Plant City. P is that it? Plant City? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like the first ever like vegan market, bunch of different vegan restaurants. So we're gonna go and sample everything and we're gonna take you with us. So let's go. Hi. This is all plant-based. I'm so excited. You go, 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 go. Is this like a grocery store? Yeah, and then there's like a whole different Oh my god. Oh my god, they literally, I'm gonna have to pick up some goodies here, but then it's like, I'm not gonna eat it before I go home. This is my dream, Anna. Every time I go to the store, I'm like, what if I could just get everything vegan? And they've got it. They've got Beyond Me, everything. Oh my god, they have like little raviolis. What? I think I'm gonna get some mushroom ravioli and make that for dinner. So cool. Oh no, you're good. I think it's over here. We're trying to we're trying to figure out what to order so we've got like three different restaurants to choose from so this is our menu literally everything's vegan we've also got cocktails and stuff and then anna what's on this menu oh this is burgers fries burgers and fries so here okay so this is what we're working with There's too many options, I feel like. <laughs> like, I haven't had this many options mentally since I went plant-based, like, what, five years ago? So I don't even know what to do to go to a restaurant. Like, I can eat whatever I want. And there's, like, a million options. Okay, got a drink here. What did I get? I got this, like, gin lemonade. It has cucumber in it. Delicious. And I got a mojito. We ordered four things for the table because <laughs> we were being greedy. So we got a Bianca pizza, which has a ton of cheeses. We got chili cheese fries, we got this fajita bowl, and we got mac and cheese. So we're gonna split four things between the table. I'm gonna show you everything, and yeah, I'm excited. Let's grab it. This is the Bianca pizza, everyone. Oh yeah, let's try. Ooh. Is it already cut? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, this is one slice, this big ass slice. Okay, let's try it. It's really smoking. Mm, it's so spicy. It's good. It's really hot. Is it hot? No, for me. Like hot as in temperature? No, it's in spice. Oh. I'm into it. It's a lot of. Pe it's just like not a traditional pizza. This is really like vegetables, cheeses, seasonings on a bread more so than like this is good though what do you think Em? what's your review i love it this is dish number one we've, we've got three more dishes to go so bear with me okay if you guys have eaten a lot of food at once let me know in the comments down below we don't know whether to eat the pizza that we have and then sample everything or if we eat it all at once i think i'm gonna eat the pizza first because it has such a strong taste then I'm gonna wash it down with the alcohol. Then I'm gonna bunch the other dishes. I think I'm gonna eat the mac and cheese and the chili cheese fries together because it's the same taste. I'm gonna get the heat up bowl separately. So that's my plan of attack, Anna. I think that's how we're gonna conquer <laughs> this table of food. This is it. This is all the food. We got the mac and cheese. We have chili cheese fries, a fajita bowl. I'm guessing the chips are for the fajita bowl. So it's it's time to eat a lot of food, and then I guess once we start digging in, we'll review each dish. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so this is the first bite of the fajita bowl. What is this on top? Cheese? Guacamole. Oh, it's guacamole. I didn't even see it. That's some type of sprout. 
There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Let's see. Mm. How do I feel? I feel amazing. <laughs> and it feels amazing. This is really good. It's really fresh. I love this for like a lunch, but also look how deep this bowl gets. You could probably eat this. It's definitely great for two people. That's for sure. So this is dish two of four. Getting into the chili cheese fries. Wait, how do we feel about the fajita bowl, Anna? I feel good. It wasn't. I feel like the pizza was better than the fajita bowl. The pizza, yeah, had the most like flavors. Yeah. Had the most the pizza was more original and that I don't think it would be easy to recreate this, but the fajita bowl you could easily recreate at home. So now we're trying the chili cheese fries, so we're gonna utilize our plates like grown women. Wait, I guess let's try one without the plate though. It's kind of sweet. I just put that. It almost tastes like a sweet potato fry. Hold on. Let me try another one. Yeah, it's really sweet. Almost tastes like. Yeah, like maybe there's a sweet potato one there. I prefer more savory for a chili cheese. Like if I could throw some like chili powder on this, like just to give it a little spice. But it's a, it's good. But it's not it's not amazing. The last frontier. So we're cracking into the mac and cheese. Anna and I have bravely made it to three dishes. The pizza currently is the top rank, so we'll see if this beats it out. We got the fajita bowl at number two. Chili cheese fries at number three. It was just too sweet. I don't know if we're taking those home, so let's try this. All right, you ready? I flipped the camera. Wait, I can't even see myself. Okay, let's see. That's thick. <laughs> She's thick, girl. I need some little salt in this. Do you? Oh, no, I'm white. Don't ask me. Anna says <laughs> so she's white. She doesn't know if it needs salt. I think I need some salt just to give a little. Um. How do you feel about it in general? Though? Very interesting cheese. I think you said there's butter up squash cheese. Yes. Which I've never made or used. But it's good. I like it. I like the shells. Nice shell choice. Nice topping too. Yeah, a little crunch. Like little a crunch breading crunch. topping. Yeah. Crunch, crunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what would you rank the mac and cheese out of all the dishes? Uh, I would say this takes number two for me. Number two. Mm -hmm. I'm putting this, I'm putting the mac at number three. So here's the top spots, guys. We got the pizza, Anna's choice, great option. Mm -hmm. Fajita bowl, that was my choice, number two. Mac and cheese, that was Anna's choice, number three. Chili cheese fries, I'll put it at number four. So I think we're gonna pick up a couple things from the market before we leave. Maybe we'll get a latte and then we're gonna go home because we're gonna, we're gonna be so poor by the time we leave this fucking restaurant. We literally sat down and we're like, who do we think we are? We're like, give us four things off the menu. We'll take drinks. Like, we've overdone it. So For Monday sure. is gonna be painful. It's a vegan ice cream place. It's based in New York City. And I think it's the best vegan ice cream because they mix oat milk and cashew milk when they make it. It tastes incredibly like ice cream. It's so rich. I prefer it to oatly. Okay. We should try one for the car. <laughs> I'm in a box in like five, so. Let's do it. We would have to commit. Okay, I'm committed, I think. We don't have that much. We need to figure out what we're getting from the fridge. Oh, we were looking for vegan brie. Mozzarella, cream cheese, Parmesan. Parmesan. Get it? Cha <laughs> yes, Anna. I don't see vegan brie. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, they have a vegan brie. Oh my. These are all the bakeries, and then this is the coffee bar. All right, we're cashing out today, guys. This is what we got so far. And I'm also going to get a matcha latte. Okay, we're done doing damage. We spent so much money. We spent like eighty to a hundred dollars each. So okay, we each got this brie. It was eighteen dollars. Hope it's good. We hope it's good. It's black garlic. I think black garlic is expensive. Is that it? 
Is that why the braid is expensive? I literally have vegan. Idea. Okay, we also got vegan marshmallows and we also got matchas for the road. So we'll wrap this up in a minute. All right, so we're leaving Plant City. We're gonna give you our final review. Let me turn this down a little bit for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna, what's your review first? She's driving, so I'll let her look at the road. I loved it. It was amazing to sit in a place and have so many options that were vegan. It was crazy and everything I think was great. I loved it. I would 100% go again, more than once. Maybe uh, three times. Yes. <laughs> if we lived in Providence, we'd be here every weekend. Yeah, 100%. For sure. I loved it as well. Um, Anna found this place. I didn't, I looked it up and I was like, wow, this is a really cool concept. But to actually go and be like, wow, I don't have to like look at the ingredients for any other things on this menu. I don't need to question it. And I can try so many different types of vegan food. Like everyone can do the basics, like a plant-based burger or a salad or whatever, but to try something that's like, oh wow, this pizza is so unique. Or like we got matchas. We also like went to the grocery store aisle. So there was just so much variety and I would a thousand percent go back. Next time though, we're gonna calm down. Cause Anna and I, we have like this synergy where like we're just gonna buy everything and like, you know, it adds up quick. Cause when the cheese yeah. is seventeen dollars, I spent sixty dollars in the grocery store. Yeah, and then we also <laughs> spent like fifty dollars on the lunch. So, um, be careful with your pockets, cause we all know plant based food can Hurt can me. run up. But for us, it was definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. We don't know when we're gonna be back, so. Mine as well splurge. So we're gonna do one last review of these like ice cream pops. We're gonna do it when we get a little bit closer to Boston because we are so little stuff, but I wanted to add a little gin into the video, so <laughs> stay tuned. Okay, so this is the last thing I'm eating forever. Um, I'm reviewing Van Llewellyn's vegan ice cream. And we got the vanilla Wahlberg swirl flavor, so let's try this out. This is so good. <laughs> Oh, it's so creamy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Wait. We got this at the place, but Anna says she's never seen it outside of New York. So I don't know where you can get this. Maybe online. The dark chocolate shell is a lot for me because I don't like dark chocolate that much. Mm -hmm. But the ice cream inside is sweet enough that it kind of balances it out. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Anna, for taking us. I want to say this is going to be the most successful vlog because I've never <laughs> picked up the camera this much. So I really hope you enjoy it. If you're in Providence, Rhode Island, check out Plant City. It's a great place. I hope to be back one day soon. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.